So if Islam teaches injustices, I should speak against it, correct? Yes. Now notice, now notice how they all don't want him to talk because he agrees with me. So why is the Quran used to people if they don't understand it? So they have to learn it then, isn't it? So that's Arabization. Yeah, of course. Hey, of course. Oh, so what you heard was a Muslim in London in the 21st century trying to justify a religious apartheid on the basis that some people were not Muslims. I talk against Islam, yes. What, what, what's the problem in talking against Islam? Because you just, uh, you know, the harmony between the Christian and Muslims living in here. What about, what about the lack of harmony that exists between Christians in Saudi Arabia or in, in any state where Islam dominates? Saudi Arabia has got its own laws. Well, name me, a, name me a country where Christians... Name me an Islamic country where Christians aren't being persecuted. What do you mean? That's my point. Egypt has got Christians. And they're persecuted. Iran has got Christians. And they're persecuted. No, they are not. Yes, they are. It is, is it illegal to convert to Christianity in Iran? In Iran, there are lots of people who convert to Christianity. I know they do, but they do so illegally. So there is a legal persecution of Christians in Iran. But, my friend, I'm talking about here. I, I'm about talking here. about there. Okay, well, why? Why are you okay? This is, this why, is, do I, why do I it care? Makes, it makes life harder. Let, let, let me answer. You're steering so much. Let, let me answer. Why do I care? Because, because those, those Christians in Iran are my brothers and sisters. Because and when they're being persecuted by an Islamic regime, then I have a duty to speak out against Islam. But that Islamic regime has given right to, to the Christians. It persecutes Armenia. Christians. It persecutes Christians. Where? In Iran. In the news? In Iran. No, no. You're lying. You're lying to yourself and you're lying to everyone else. They are Christian, you know, they, they are happy. Oh, Lots Christians are happy in Iran. Yes, yes. I've spoken to Iranian Christians. How many Iranian Christians have you spoke to? A lot. Right. So you think they're happy Even to live in a country where they can be hanged just because they became Christian? You think they're happy? Was, you're never, lying. I never heard of you're that. lying Somebody to yourself. To then if you've people. never heard of it, you're guilty of ignorance. You're ignorant okay. and you're lying. <laughs> Preaching against Sharia law is a good thing. Sharia law is a bad thing. No, so to no. preach against Sharia law is a good thing, no, by definition. No Islamic country has got Sharia law. Nowhere in the Iran world. says that it follows Sharia law. Saudi Arabia says that it follows Sharia law. Pakistan says that its laws are derived from Sharia law. There's no Sharia law. I agree, Sharia law doesn't work. It's not practiced anywhere. This is your imagination. No, your imagination. Your imagination is that Christians are not being persecuted until Muslims like you can accept that Christians are suffering in the Middle East. It is you that needs to be corrected, not me. Until progressives accept that Christians are being persecuted in the Middle East, they need to be corrected on their ignorance. They need to shut up about Islamophobia. What are you talking about here? No, so I'm, I'm talking about over there. Over there. Okay. So you are opening the wounds of some all these problems over thousands of years ago. Now people started to come together again. It's Can happening to... today. No, it's not. It's happening. happening. You're lying. No, you are lying. What? Christians are persecuted in Saudi Arabia. Christians are Saudi persecuted Arabia. in Iran. Christians are persecuted in Jordan. Christians are persecuted in Syria. Christians are persecuted in Egypt. Christians are persecuted in Sudan. Christians are persecuted in Afghanistan. You need to accept reality that one of the fruits of your religion is the persecution of Christians. If you don't like that fact, maybe you need to find yourself a better religion. My friend, because if you are a minority, you got to obey the law and rules of the country. But if, uh, let's say, in Sudan there is Christianity, Christian, and, but they are separated now. Even south of Sudan is now. They're still persecuting no, them in North no, Sudan. They are not. 
They are. And then You're lying the again. They... You're lying again. You're lying to yourself because you're an ignorant man. You're an ignorant man who wants to marshal an ignorant argument and you're doing it because you don't like me pointing out the bad things about Islam. But, but I mean, you have got the Muslim in here. What they have done to you? What the Christian Shir Islam yeah. teaches the persecution of Christians. Okay. Teaches it. So the problem is the Quran and the Hadith. Now, are you a Sunni or a Shia? Sunni. You're a Sunni. So let's look at what Sunni Islam teaches about Christianity and let's see if you think it's right or wrong. My friend, I don't want to go to that. No, I don't want to. to because oh, suddenly you're no, shy. No, no. You were so confident that I was wrong, no. but now I've got out the no, Quran to prove that I'm right. Suddenly you've lost your confidence. Conclusion. There will be no conclusion. So I'm saying that. Yeah, there end, will be a conclusion. At the end of the day, you're Christian and I'm Muslim, and that's what. That's and Islam what, teaches that, that I should be persecuted under no. Sharia law, and that's why it is a good thing to speak against Islam. <laughs> see, that's, that's bad. You see, what I'm saying. Why is it a bad thing? Come together. And why is it a bad thing? Let me let me use another analogy. Let me use another analogy. Would it be wrong for me to speak against the ideology of the Ku Klux Klan? But that is not an ideology. Answer the question. It's just based on race. You it's an ideology. Yeah. No. It's a racial ideology. It's not revealed from God. Answer the question. Would it be right for me to preach against Nazism, the Ku Klux Klan, and other racial yeah, ideologies? Yeah, right. So if Islam teaches injustices, I should speak against it, correct? Yes, yeah, yeah. There we go. So all I need to do now is prove that Islam speaks, preaches injustices and then my preaching against Islam is justified, agreed. If I can prove that Islam teaches injustice, yeah. I can prove that I'm right to speak against Islam, correct? Yeah. Right, so let's look at what Islam teaches. <laughs> I come here 20 years, it's never finished my friend, you know. You got to accept me that I'm Muslim and I accept you that you're Christian, you know. But Islam does not <laughs> accept the existence of Christianity. Okay. It prescribes and discriminates against Christians. Shall I give you an example? So what is your solution? The what solution. The solution is... You say you have got Muslims in here. Yeah. And they are they part of this country? Hey, so so here's, here's the solution. What is the solution? We need to make sure that Islam does not become a organizing principle in our society that it doesn't organize our culture, that it doesn't organize our economic systems, that it doesn't organize our political systems, that it doesn't organize our laws. What about and more so, more so, not only should we make sure that Islam can't do that here, we should change the fact that it does it anywhere in the world. So no, it's a wonderful thing. Even you don't it's an absolutely want, wonderful okay, thing. Whatever you say, it is our religion. Can we have it the same things in our land? You already do land? that. Huh? You no, already no. do that. No, no, that's not. But when but I, you but you object to it yet. when I suggest doing it to you. No, but you. And not. that's your conscience telling you it's wrong. But you have got another aim to go there, and you say that you just mentioned it, that you want to go there to implement all these things you said. To so what? Country. So what you just did? Are you are you saying that you don't want to see Sharia law here? No, no, I say it is up to this country. Do you want this to see country, Sharia law here? Excuse me, this country has given rights to Muslims to live here. So all I'm saying, what is your problem? Answer the question. What do you, why you are against them? The question is not going to go away. No. Do you want to see Sharia law here? If this country allow it, it depends to the country. So do you want to, uh, you see you're not answering the question. Answer the question. The question won't go away. Do you want Sharia law here? Maybe he wants to become Muslim. No, 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 no. Answer the question. Everyone can see you're not answering the question. All I understand. Answer the question. We are here. Answer the question. We are given the right. Answer the question. To live here, we are Answer the, the question. Right, and this shows the superiority of man-made laws of the West over Islamic laws. Because man-made laws in the West afford more rights to Muslims in the West than Sharia law affords to Christians in the Muslim world. And you, when I suggested taking away Islam's power to dominate in the Muslim world and here, 
You objected to it because your conscience is telling you it's wrong. But Islam does that to Christians and you're fine with it. You're okay with it. And that tells you, bro, that you've got cognitive dissonance. Your conscience is telling you one thing, your pride is telling you something else. I mean, in this country, that is the way you have to be. You know, we have to sacrifice. Answer the question. What I'm saying to the man. Do you want to see Sharia law here? Problem. Inshallah. There you go. Right. So let me just deal with that. Uh, any, do any Muslims agree with him? Okay, so so do you, but would, do you want there to be Sharia law? Here? If it happens, it happens. If it happens, it happens. So my attitude is, if we can get rid of Sharia law in Saudi Arabia, the world will be a better place. If it happens, it happens. Inshallah. Inshallah. Sharia law will be swept from Saudi Arabia, swept from Pakistan, swept from Iran, swept from Egypt. What's wrong with that? What, what's wrong with my... No, no, no. What's wrong with my attitude? Oh, oh. Talk about this country now. So, so. I want to talk about the fact, based on this brother's comment, based on this brother's comment, about, he asked me, why do I speak against Islam? Yeah. Islam leads to the persecution of Christians. Uh, that is why I speak uh, against Islam. Islam is an inherently unjust system. Where? I'll answer that question. I'll answer that question. Thank you. You ready? Where does Islam lead to the persecution of Christians? Get yeah, pen and paper. Pakistan. Afghanistan. Iran. Saudi Arabia. Oman. Yemen. Jordan. Syria. Egypt. Morocco. Libya. Tunisia. Sudan. Mauritania. Mauritania, or is I'm using the old Roman one? Mauritania. Have you finished? No, no, I haven't. Indonesia. Malaysia. All Nigeria. Excuse me. No, no. Mali. Are you talking wait, wait, wait. to the guy who never Have I given, have I given you, you some examples? Yes. Have you traveled? Yes. Where have Hold you been down. to? Hold on. Where have you been to? I'll use Morocco as an example. Okay. Oh, Morocco. I've okay. been to Morocco. Morocco. Yeah, I've been to Morocco. Please. Morocco. Okay. What have you seen in Morocco? So, in Morocco, okay. it is uh -huh. illegal uh -huh. to become a Christian. Ah, it is illegal. In Morocco, for Christians to practice Morocco, their faith yeah? fully. Yeah. What? You don't know. Oh, yes! Bob, and no Moroccans are allowed to set up a church. And no Moroccans are allowed to set up a church. Those churches are for expatriates. You're, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. And you're ignorant of your own constitution. Thank you. Listen, listen. There is not democracy in Morocco. And all Christians, do Christians, do Christians have their rights restricted? Do Christians have their rights restricted? I know. That's not my question. Now notice, now notice how they all don't want him to talk because he agrees with me. How many Christians are in Egypt? How many Christians? Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to listen to the lady. No, no, let her speak. How many? Sorry, I'm listening to you. What's your question? What's your question? She's right, so you're not committing. Okay. So let me answer the question. How many million Christians? Let me answer the question. Egypt. Let me answer what the question. The in Egypt? Yeah, for me to answer the question, yes. you've actually got to shut up. Yeah, okay. So, no, let me manners. answer the question. That shows your manners. Let no. me answer the You're question. Let me answer the question. There are approximately between 11 and 14 million Christians in Egypt. And every single one of them is persecuted by the Egyptian state and by Egyptian society. There are anti-Christian pogroms in Egypt. Christian priests are killed in Egypt. Christian churches are bombed in Egypt. 
Christians can't change their identity card to Christian if they were born Muslim. Christians can't marry Muslim women in Egypt. And these people are lying about what is going on in the Islamic world. He's lying. She's lying. He's lying. Go and check for yourself. Bob needs a pipe. You're literally the pipe. Bob this guy, yeah. listen, just... this guy never been out of London. He doesn't know what How do you know? <laughs> How do you know? Because you're telling lies. No, you're lying. In Egypt, right there are Christians in government in Egypt. There are Christians in high office yeah. in Egypt, yeah. in Morocco. Yeah. Jews, yeah. Christians, yeah. Muslims yeah. live happily together. Yeah. No, yeah. the Jews. Moroccans had to flee. The Jews of Morocco had to flee at the founding of Israel. Millions of them, thousands of them. You're lying, you're lying, and people need to break the lies. Well, those two things are synonyms. Hold on a minute, sir. You, I feel sorry for you. Hold on, hold on. Well, I feel sorry for you because you're, you're with your very tiny brain. Tiny You have never been anywhere outside London. How do you know? I know because your culture. Your knowledge is very... Where are you from? I'm from London. Vale, uh, ahora nosotros hablamos en español, ¿ah? ¿eh? No, no, no. ¿Por qué? Tú dices a mí, yo no viajo nada, nada país. Are you mad? Entonces, you ahora mad? hablamos conmigo en español. Right porque right tú entiendes. Right Él entiendes, entiendes. Él, 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 él dijo, yo no puedo, hablo en español, porque estoy ignorante. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, Taliban. Okay. Taliban is a creation. Okay. So let's see if Islam teaches discrimination against Christians. Would you like to have that conversation? Do you know what deer is? Do you know what deer is? I ask a question. What happened to the Muslims? Do you know what deer is? We know that. Tell us. What happened to the Jews? Don't tell him. Tell us. What what's deer? What happened to the Jews who were persecuted? What's deer? You tell us. Okay. So they've asked me to tell you. Yes. That implies that you're going to let me tell you. Yes, we'll let you. Right, brilliant. So deer. Liar! There you go. Do you see? This is what it's going to be. So Dia is the money that he's paid if you kill someone unjustly. Yeah. Right. Am I lying so far? No, I'm telling the truth. Right. So the Dia. Yeah, you, you don't know what you're talking about. So the Dia. Listen. So arrogant. Listen. 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 No, I have Sahih al Bukhari. I have Sahih al Bukhari. Are you listening? Are you listening? So the deer, the blood money paid for Christians, is half that of what is paid for a Muslim. I advise you to travel the world because your time is so. No, deer. It's connected to the kisas. You don't know even. You don't even know what you're talking about. The blood money paid for Christians is half that that is paid for a Muslim. Now imagine that we brought in a law today that said if you kill someone who's a Muslim, the value of their life is half that of a non-Muslim. Would you say that that was wrong? You're a lawyer. My friend, answer the question. Said, listen to me. You answer the question. You know, a guy like you, I've answer been the question. This for 33 years. Answer the I question. I know your profile. Answer the question. People like this, they come here answer and the question. hatred. Answer the they question. Know. Religion answer is about... Answer the question. Religion Answer the question. Is, he doesn't know what answer, answer the question. Answer, answer, answer. answer the question. Listen. Answer the question. 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 Okay. As you can see, he doesn't want to answer the question. So maybe another Muslim will answer the question. Who let you out of hospital? Perhaps he will answer the question. So, answer the question. Bro, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question, or let me ask you, if we passed a law in this country that said the life of you 
and the life of a Muslimer in terms of compensation would be half that of anyone who's not a Muslim, would you say that that is fair or unfair? Unfair. So it is unjust to value the lives of other people as being less than yourselves. But that is what Islam teaches. Sahih al-Bukhari 983.50 And it says the legal regulation of Dia and the releasing of captives and the judgment that no Muslim should be killed in Kisas for killing a Kafar. So in other words, if a Muslim kills a Muslim, an appropriate punishment is you take that Muslim's life. But if a Christian is killed by a Muslim, that Muslim's life is never forfeit. So in other words, the value of a Muslim life is higher than a Christian one. Another example, Abu Dawood 39, Four five two seven. The value of the blood money at the time of the apostles of Allah was eight hundred dinars or eight thousand dirhams, and the blood money for the people of the book was half that of Muslims. Everyone say half that. Now you said that that was unfair. So is Islam unfair? Is Islam unfair? No, no, no. I believe you're a true Christian, am I correct? What? You're a true Christian. I'm a Christian. Okay, yeah. So why do you have in your churches crosses and pictures of Jesus when it clearly states in your Bible that's against the law that Jesus commanded? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, please note how quickly he wanted to get off the topic of how unfair his religion is. Deflection. But I will be courteous and answer his question in any way. Despite the fact, no, I'm answering his question. No, I'm answering his question. So, he has no answer for the unfairness in Islam, though he accepts that it's unfair. So you reject the hadith? Well, some of them are... Uh, Do you reject them? Some of them, yes. Not all of them are true. All the ones that are embarrassing, we know. No, 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 no. That's different ones. Like, all, all hadiths are like written 200 years. So what about the ones that come from Sahih al-Bukhari? Even those are written after. So, so, so you reject them. some of those? No, 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 no some of them. I accept some of them. You, do you reject some of them? No, no. You, so you don't reject some of them? No, Sahih al-Bukhari. Right. If it doesn't make sense, yes, I will reject Okay, so let me, let me point out some things that come from Sahih al-Bukhari. Answer this question I'll ask you now. Yes, Why I will. I will, but I'm not going to get off the pictures, point. Pictures of Jesus. I'm not going to get off the but point. You're supposed to have that. So, the brother doesn't know what the Old Testament just, teaches. What does it do? So I'm going to tell you. Two people have become in one Muslims of the commandments, too. in one of the commandments, it teaches that you shall not make any graven image on anything on earth or anything above the heaven. So and it, the you you've got that? to listen to an answer if you want an answer. So you've got to listen. So do not make graven images of anything on the earth, anything above the earth, or anything in the seas under the earth. And do not bow down and worship them. In the very same book, brother, in the very same book by given, given by the very same prophet, God commands the making of images. On the Ark of the Covenant, in the temple, the, the, what was forbidden, I'll show you, I'll show you. What was forbidden, was the bowing down and worshipping the images, not the creation of images. Now, I'm not going to get distracted from our conversation. I will show you the verses after we finish talking about this. You have admitted that you think it would be fair if we valued the lives of Muslims as half that of non-Muslims. You unfair, said that. Unfair, unfair. unfair. But it is in the Quran. Says it, it in the, the hadith, listen. But what hadith? Sahih al-Bukhari, 983.50. Sahih al-Bukhari, 1.3.111. Sahih al-Bukhari, 
4, 52, 283. This is what it says. That the regulations concerning the deer and the releasing of captives and the judgment that no Muslim should be killed in Kisas. You know what the concept of Kisas is? It means measure for measure in punishment. So if I steal 50 quid, I give 50 quid back. If I, a Muslim, kill you as a Muslim, your family can have me executed for killing you as a Muslim. That's Kisas. But listen to what it says. Blood money, no. Listen to what it says. But no Muslim should be killed in Kisas for killing a Kufar. So in other words, if a Muslim kills a non-Muslim, he can't be punished in the same way as if he killed someone who wasn't, who was a Muslim. So that means the value of the non-Muslim is half that of the Muslim. That's not in the Quran, but that's in the Hadith. You agree? It's unfair. It's unfair. I agree with that. Do you use the Hadith to interpret the Quran? No. Nope. You don't? No. Nope. So you're a Quran-only person? Quran-only person. So okay. you use the Hadith to, as a kind of a guide, but the Quran is there and it was God's word. So, so the Hadith is not God's word. It's a human interpretation. Okay. Let me ask you this question. Another question. If we followed a public policy of humiliating Muslims, would you say that that was fair or unfair? Public policy of who? The government. If the government In part followed... UK government? Yes. If the UK government followed public policy of humiliating Muslims, would that be fair or unfair? But the UK has allowed the Muslims to build the mosques. Answer the question. So many so so that's not, not an answer to the question. They, they actually it's not an answer to the parts. question. Now answer the question. If, but they don't humiliate Muslims. How You're not they answering they the question. What, if they're about to humiliate Muslims? So you did hear the question. If the government wants to humiliate Muslims? Yeah, so you did hear the question. Now yes. answer it. But they're not humiliating, so I mean, Ans it's not fair. No. It wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be Let, fair. Let's it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't, wouldn't be fair. Be fair. So it, it wouldn't be fair. If the government humiliates Muslims, it wouldn't be fair. If the BNP got into power and started humiliating Muslims at every they never turn. Power, have they? No, and if they did, you've got to listen. You know what, if they did, would it be unfair to do that? If they vote, if the public Would it be Islamophobic? It wouldn't be Islamophobic. It would be Islamophobic. Now listen to your Quran. Surah 9, verse 29. Fight against those who believe not in Allah nor in the last day nor forbid that which has been forbidden by Allah and his messenger until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. Yep. The word subdued can also be translated as humiliated. Because so if we did it to the Muslims, yeah. it would be wrong. Is it wrong because when the Quran says do it? It's not wrong. Why? It's because not wrong. Because the unbelievers not wrong. are those that, are not, that, that, that do not believe in a God. So, the so that makes it okay. Are those, are those that are committing all sorts of crimes. So that makes it okay. Why would they? Of course, that would make it okay. That would make it okay. We want to lower the unbelievers. So there you go. God, who rules? Who rules the earth? Do you rule on me or God? God right. rules it. It's His law. It's not so let me law. reply to that. Law. His law. Let me it's reply God's to law. that. So listen, God. listen, that's, that's exactly listen. Bro, do you want to talk to him or okay. to me? So listen. I'm going to make a point and you're going to miss it. Bro, listen, 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 your Quran says, I want you to shout these words, these words, among the people of what? Scriptures. Scriptures. Who are they? Jews and Christians. Jews and Christians. So fight against... So it's not just talking about pagans, but it's talking about Jews and Christians. Fight against those who So what not. you heard was a Muslim in London in the 21st century trying to justify a religious apartheid on the basis that some people were not Muslims. But if we do it, it to the do Muslims, the it's day. Islamophobia. No, no, it says not believe in the last day. Christians believe in the last day, Jews believe in the last day. So you can discriminate against atheists? I can't tell who's an atheist and who's not. Now notice oh, how, how he's equivocating. How am I supposed to tell who's an atheist and who's not? So, the reality is, you just tried to hear him. Oh, no. Some fight. Yeah. I know exactly who is the one. Who? Who's it going to be? The Shia brother. 
Who? The bee who comes oh, the really cheer fun. guy. That's all the answer, yeah? <laughs> Without going there, so, I know. I haven't even seen oh, it, but I know. So, that's what I'm saying. Disbelievers. So, who are this? I can't tell who's the atheist or no. What do atheists do? They're the ones that Listen to yourself. Crimes. All What's your name? Elias. Elias. Just listen to what you're saying. Yeah, but listen no, listen to what you're saying. Go on. Right? If I, now I'm going to say your exact words, yeah. but I'm just going to replace unbeliever with Muslim. Yeah. And tell me if you agree with it. But if you're yeah, tell me Christian, if you agree with it. With it. But if it. Oh, I don't if, agree with if it. If this country is a Christian country, Bro, no, no, you've no. just hung your own religion. No, no, no. I've been hung. You've just hung your own religion. If this is a Christian country, I don't have to respect this religion. It's not worthy of respect. But your queen respects it. She has allowed us to build so many mosques. Elias, I can. And Muslims don't. And Muslim societies do not afford equal rights to Christians. I don't believe that. Well, you need to go and if, do your if, research because you're as ignorant as everyone believe, else in the park. But why don't you raise this question? It says if they do not believe, are you just blaming Muslims? I do. No. No. no, no I blame no, no, Islam. No, you don't. I blame no. Islam. No. Islam. I blame Islam. Iran is Islamic Republic. I blame Islam. Did you hear that? I blame Islam. Okay. Did you hear that? I say, did, did, you hear that? did you hear that? When Muslims take Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I blame Islam. Who do I blame? Islamic Republic. Who do I blame? Who do I blame? Who do, Who do I blame? Who do I blame? Who do I blame? Who do I blame? I don't know. Don't you see, he wasn't even listening. <laughs> wasn't even listening. Who did I blame? 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 He wasn't listening either. The Quran, exactly. I blame Islam. But the Quran says our book. It's unbelievable. Yes, your book is terrible. Stop following it. Your book is awful. Stop following it. Your book is unjust. Stop following it. Your book is contradictory. Stop following it. Are you an unbeliever? I'm a Christian. But is that, so you're, not, you're not an unbeliever? I'm a Christian. Do you believe in the last day? Yes. That's it. So you're equal. So you're not. You, and what about the atheists? It's not you. The atheists are different. I disagree. Because the atheists do I not disagree. believe. I disagree. They don't believe. I disagree. But well, you can't tell who's I disagree. an atheist and who's not. I defend the right of the atheist no, 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 to you're be treated as my equal. Love every, uh, every human. Except the say, unbeliever. It, Accept the unbeliever yeah, by your own argument. Who's the unbeliever? Exactly, the so atheist. Those, yeah, but wait, so, how can you, so you think it's okay to humiliate atheists? atheists? How can you so you think atheists? it's okay to humiliate atheists? But you can't tell the difference. Answer the question. No, but the thing is, no. how can you so identify now you disagree atheist? with your Quran. How can you identify an atheist? So you disagree with your Quran. How can you identify an atheist? You identify an atheist because they say they don't believe in God. That doesn't mean you're going to straight kill them, no way. No, who that talked about that? that. I, that's what you're said saying. humiliate. Yeah, humiliate them. So, so there you go. Yes, that. humiliate them. So that they you're can. arguing to the humiliate majority, a whole group of people. In the majority Muslim country, of you, course, you'll be humiliated. Because oh, there we go. In a majority Muslim country, of course they will be humiliated. And that's why Islam is a problem, because it leads people to say such things. But I'm a Christian and I can offer you something better. Listen, here's what I offer you, a something better. You just heard him say it. Of course in a Muslim majority country of atheists would be humiliated. Christians, listen, Christians believe that every human being is made in the image of God. That's what we believe too. We are given that image prior to any religion, prior to any ethnicity. And their dignity is based upon that image. Yes. In other words, we all you, you cannot, you. You cannot justify humiliating people because they believe differently from you. You have to reference and revere and respect the image of God, wherever it is, and in whoever it is, any race, any religion, any philosophy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Christianity and following Jesus is better than following Muhammad and following Islam. Now you're not following Jesus properly. Do you bow down your head on the floor? Yes. Why do you have I did it today in church. No, Great no, stuff. Take, Good take for you. Good for you. And loads of Christians do it. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Well, so, now you know something. So, how many times a day do you put your? Uh, do you respect? How many you pray? Every time I pray. Excuse me. How many? Like, how many times do you put your? I try to pray seven. I try to pray every three hours. 
Anyway, so how many times do you pray? We don't have any issues with Christians. How many times do you pray? Five times. Five times. Yeah. Five times. Yeah. You need to up a game. You're a bit behind. You can, you can, you we can pray more. We can pray even like 14 times. as in like extra prayers, but as not. I'm not at that age to pray 14 times. Me. Maybe him, count three, or, or someone older, because they probably. But bro, this this childish kind of argument that says I pray more than you. No, it's not about It's a praying. childish no, argument. There, there, there's a standard. It's a childish argument. Oh, we're better than you because we pray more than you. It's not about better or worse. That's the difference between no, an unbeliever and a non-believer. No, it is about better and worse. And a That's the difference. It is about better and worse because prayer needs to come from the heart. Yeah, of course. It needs to come from the mind. And that's why Christians pray in their own language. But Muslims have to pray in Arabic. And most Muslims don't even know Arabic. So how can their prayers be sincere if they don't know what they're saying? But why would you pray if you if you're not sincere? Do you know what you're saying? Yeah, why would you pray if you're not sincere about the prayer? Because so in Islam, in Islam, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to suggest there aren't sincere Muslims that pray. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I know that there are lots of sincere Muslims that pray. But what I'm saying to you, bro, is that there are many Muslims who simply go through the motions. And they don't understand. There's many Muslims they don't understand the Quran. They don't understand what they're reading. Why not? Because they probably haven't been taught or they're just following blindly. It's because the Quran, we can stop shouting now. The, it's because the Quran's in Arabic. No, it's this translation for it. This translation for it. Is this translation the Quran? Yeah. It is a. Um, uh, Answer the question. It is a close translation of three meaning. Is it the Quran? The translation is it the Quran? Is not the Quran. The translation so, is translation. not the Quran. So, so in have, other words, the only way that you can know what your God is telling you no, 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 no. is if someone who is an Arab no, 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 no. tells you. No, 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 no. And that's Arabization. You can understand the translation of it. That's one way you can understand it. For those that don't speak Arabic. But for those that speak it, it makes it easier but for But this them. isn't the Quran. Look, in any country now, children that are nine year olds, eight year olds, they can they read the whole the Quran by heart, like with by memorize the Bible. Bro, bro. That's a miracle of the Quran in no, itself. No, that's not a miracle it at is a all. Miracle. There are Christians that have recited and, and able to recite entire liturgies. I've never it heard of It means nothing. Well, you don't know anything about Christianity, bro. Maybe you need to learn. I can recite things. Do you want to see? Confitio de omnipotenti et vobis fretre que pacavi congitatione et omissione. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Idio preco mariam surgenem virginem et angelos et sanctos et vos fretres. One second. Did you understand what I said? I didn't understand it. Was it any use to you? Was it any use to you? It was no use to me. So why is the Quran used to people if they don't understand it? So they have to learn it then, isn't it? So that's Arabization. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. That's Arabization. This is started from, from, from Arabia. Thank you. This started. So I'm offering. Where was the first letter written? So I'm, Civilization, I'm, uh, Mesopotamia. No, uh, of course. So I'm, that's when you go back to history. I'm inviting you to a better religion. Huh? I'm inviting you to a better religion. I'm a religion. I'm already a religion. You're talking about. A religion that does not require you to Arabize or follow any other ethnos. You can Let have your you own ethnos and your also, own also, culture. One, of course, you can, every Muslim has his own culture, whether it's Asian, black, white, whatever it is, but you only follow what is written in the Quran. So you can still be English. How many English Muslims have you seen? How many, you know, how many Arab how many Christians Asian? have you seen? I've not seen many. That's what I'm going to be I've honest. seen plenty. I've not seen many. But let me tell you something about America, about the Quran. The way it is There's written. There's no miracle in the Quran. It is a miracle. The way There's it is no written miracle. is written melodically and it's written easy to remember. So God made it easy to remember for those. And he's telling the Arabic language. Does it mean? It's not a miracle. The Arabs, That's it's not just, a miracle. It is a miracle. It's not a miracle. Any other book that people just memorize it, eight, eight year olds. Uh, it's I've not got, a miracle. I, I don't know. Any other books that eight year olds memorize it by heart. Your, 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 this is, this is simpleton's logic. It's simpleton's logic that just to say that human beings do something like memorization, that that is somehow, that that is somehow, that that is somehow some kind of miracle. One second, one second, that's no miracle at all. And neither is the idea of beauty. Beauty is a completely subjective thing. I could say that my paintings are the most beautiful paintings in the world and they capture them exactly according to you. The only people that think the Arabic of the Quran is a beautiful book are those who are Muslim. I don't speak Arabic. I've heard the Arabic Quran 
and there's nothing beautiful about it. I don't speak Arabic, I, I learned Arabic, but I, and I realised the beauty of it, because I used to read in English, but when I learned Arabic... I've heard the I Arabic, the there's, and that proves my point, it's subjective. You think it is, I think it isn't, therefore it is not a miracle, it is just an opinion. And here's, here's what, it gets worse for you, shall I tell you how it gets worse? Because the Quran claims the fact that it is Im imminable is a sign of its miraculous nature. That means that the so-called all-wise, all-knowing God based one of the claims of his book on an argument that everyone can see is subjective and didn't even know he was working to a logical fallacy. Allah didn't know he was working to a logical fallacy when he claimed that the Quran was beautiful and no one could claim imitate it. But it. it says it made it easy to remember in the Sh Arabic language. Show me. This is why you have eight-year-olds memorizing show me. it. Show me. It says easy to remember in the Arabic language. Shall I show you? How can we make so many mistakes then? Yeah. What mistakes? It's four point mistakes. Out the point out Noah had three tongues. Yes. According to the Quran, he had four. Where does it say? In there. Where? But, in but, there. But, but show me. And according to, the, me. Quran, and according to the Quran, one of them drowned. After why, why spending a hundred years building the ark. Right. Wonder, Brother, let me, uncle, please. So, wait, 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 wait. I want to, I want to show you that you don't know your Quran. If the Quran wasn't sent, I'm going to read you. I'm going to read you. Let me just say one thing. Go on then, and then I'll reply. If the Quran wasn't sent at that time, what do you think the Arabs would have been doing now? Okay. They'd be worshiping a pay. They'll be still pagan. No, they would have been Christian. They would have been Christian. They would have been Christian. They're, they're worshiping idols. So, so, brother, sorry, uncle, sorry, please. Sorry, sorry. So, let me just show you that this guy doesn't know his Quran as much as he thinks he does. Because okay. here's what I'm the translation expert, says. We God. know that you're not an expert. Let's actually look at what the Quran says. And I'm going to demonstrate that this is yet another error in the Quran. Another? Another error. On top of all the other errors. Okay? So, as you heard earlier in the conversation, this brother said he heard the Quran and he thought it was beautiful. And I said, I heard the Quran and I heard nothing beautiful about it. However, the Quran says this. Say, if mankind and jinn were together to produce a like this Quran, they could not produce thereof, even if they help one another. That claim is completely subjective. It is not an objective claim. It's totally sub and it's a it's based on subjective reasoning. And if it's based on subjective reasoning, it is non-provable. It is an error. Allah is working to a false logic. He is working to a a, a logical fallacy. So why don't you produce a similar verse? It has been done. How? If you do a similar verse, people it has tell, been done. Quran. People will tell straight away. It's it has been Quran. done, and that's a purely subjective no, no, no. argument. It has been done. What verse? It has been done. The whole Quran. If you mention one verse that's wrong, someone will jump and say, "Look, that's a wrong verse." You don't even understand the argument that the Quran's making, bro. It's a challenge to even in the yeah, Arabic language. And that written. challenge has been met numerous times. Dude. By numerous poets, by numerous composers, in numerous languages. Next week, Shakespeare. I would put Shakespeare up against the Quran. I would put the Psalms against the Quran. Prove to me, prove to me that Psalm 23 in the Bible. Is less is less beautiful than the Quran. What? It's written in Hebrew. No, I don't speak Hebrew. So, how do you know it's wonderful? How so do you in other words, in other words, he has no reason. He has no reason. I'll, I'll compare the English to the Arabic. You can't compare orange and apple. You can't compare do, orange do and apples. Do you believe, do you believe in so I'll compare it? Psalm 23 yeah. in Arabic yeah. to the Quran. No. Now what you're going to say? Do you believe in Muhammad as a prophet? Do you believe? No. We're going to do the Arabic Psalm 23. Arabic Psalm 23 against the Quran. Prove to me I'm wrong. Prove to me I am wrong. Prove to me I am wrong. <laughs> prove to me I'm wrong. Can you prove to me I'm wrong? You see, you weren't even listening, as always. Yeah, I know you don't listen. I know you don't listen. But you know what you do, bro? No, no, no. No, 
You're going to answer a question to get a question answered. So, would you say that the Hebrew of the Torah is as beautiful or more beautiful than the Quran? He's walking away, but he would say that the Torah is more beautiful. I would say Shakespeare is more beautiful than the Quran. I would say Shakespeare translated into Arabic is more beautiful than the Quran. Oh, there you go, he admits it. He admits it. It's subjective. So that means that Allah is making a subjective argument. He's admitted that Allah is making a subjective argument, which means that Allah is making a logical fallacy. Thank you. Now, now you've helped me win, you can ask your question.